Hey guys, my name is Gleason, and welcome to this hopefully short little video where I talk about what I've been working on here. Um, in a recent video um, by the B team from Generic B and B00, um, they made a request for a turtle program that would snowcap a mountain with emeralds. Um, so I decided I like I like a challenge in turtle programming, so I decided I might take it up and see what I can do. Um, yeah, so I think I've got a fairly nice program going here. I've still got a bit more work to do yet, um, but I've, I've got the seed and um, started started going on this mountain to see how it goes. Uh, the version that's running right now, it uh, it doesn't. Oops. <sighs> The pause thing randomly came up and my mouse just happened to be over the... Oh, wow. Over the button. Radio. So, anyway. <laughs> that was quite funny. Um, yeah, so, it, right now, it, it's just snow capping it. But, but this... No! <laughs> of course it stopped the program. Dang it. Okay, so I'll talk about this anyway. Um, right now, it's snow capping it, and then... It'll, like, I have it going in a big square around this mountain, which, obviously, you put you input how far you want it to go, and it'll do that distance. Um, yeah, so it'll go over and get all the blocks that are, like, on the side like this, um, and here and here and stuff. As you can see, right now it's just snow capping, but I made a version where it totally converts the mountain to emeralds, so... Um, yeah, I, I actually made this one first, and I realized that it said the, like, a snow cap sort of thing, so I'm going to make another program, which they can use if they want, um, that only does a snow cap and doesn't do the rest of the program. Um, but the problems are, it's got a few drawbacks at the moment. Um, you have, you, there can't be any trees. Um, it didn't take me too long to clear this mountain of the trees, like, half an hour, maybe. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. I did it by hand just to see how long it would take. And you have to clear it of all the grass, which I'd recommend a sickle for, all the grass and the flowers and stuff, because the turtle counts the grass as a block, and it will build over that block. It'll make things look a bit funny. Um, and the reason I couldn't do the tr trees is that there's a bug in computer craft, oops, um, where the turtle can't compare leaf blocks, and so I couldn't detect if there was an actual tree there, or if it was running into leaf blocks, or if it was normal blocks, and stuff like that. So I was going to do, make it work with the trees, but it didn't in the end. Um, and the other thing is, I haven't been able to work out a way to make it work with overhangs. So what I've done here is I've basically just covered up all the spots where it's got overhangs. Um, See, that's the problem with this area. <laughs> this mountain isn't too bad, but when you look at this mountain, it's just absolutely full of overhangs. Like, it's it's literally got a cave in here, so... It's a really cool spot, by the way. I love it. Um, yeah, but it can't have overhangs. So what you could do... Um, if you were just doing the snow capping one, you could fill this in, which would take quite a while, but you could do it. Um, fill it in, and then... Uh, run the program, and then take the wall down if you still want to preserve that look. Um, the other option is... Also, if you were to fill in the walls and then run the this current version of the program where it fills in all the walls with emeralds, then you'd have a whole have to use a whole lot of extra emeralds to spend in the walls and stuff. Um, yeah, but this mountain would be insane to convert to emeralds with this program. Yeah, I tried for like an hour trying to work out how to, I could get the overhang thing to work, but it, nah. I just, I don't think, it's probably possible to a master programmer, but I'm not that, and I couldn't work it out. Um, maybe I screwed, I don't know. <laughs> uh, so, I'm go probably going to come back a little bit later, I just wanted to show you what I was doing here. Oh yeah, and my setup over here, I've got a chunk loader there, so these chunks will keep loaded, although it doesn't matter anymore. Um, but what I did here is I, I just, to keep, wow, it's used up a lot already. Jeez, I'm going to have to have an extra crystal chest here. Um, but it set up a crystal chest full of emerald blocks here, and then a transposer, no, it's a filter, which ticks occasionally, um, it pulls the, the stack out, and it makes sure the ender chest stays full of emeralds. Why is that like that? That's interesting. It's very strange. Anyway, yeah, so this keeps the ender chest full of emeralds, and I need that full of emeralds because... Shall so do a quick run of the program. 
um, outside of this. Um, so if I had, if I can just demonstrate, I'll do it here. Um, if I say, so to set set up the turtle, I need to put an ender chest in the 16th slot um, with the same color die as that one. Oops, as this one over here, which has your block in it. Um, yeah, but I just left it blank for it to make it easy on myself. Um, and a single emerald block there. And all your emeralds should be in the chest over here. And the turtle will automatically restock itself using that ender chest. So if I go coat 5, the first digit is the length and the second digit is the width. Um, so 5 by 5 and I press enter. Um, it's got three stages. As you said, it said stage 1. Stage 1 is doing the snow cap. Um, stage 2 is getting all the blocks, rid of all the blocks in this direction. And stage 3 is getting rid of all the blocks in this direction. Um, that won't probably won't make sense to you, but yeah. Um, and if you're doing a massive area, it takes ages. So you'll see how long it takes to do the 5x5 five five here. The first layer, the first um, round is reasonably slow, but it basically has to do this three times. And the second and third time, it, it goes it, it does it. I don't know if it's actually slower or faster in the end. I'm not sure. Um, so the turtle finishes there. Oh no, it's actually, I'm an idiot. Oh yeah, and something else is I haven't written it to work with even numbers yet. I, it wouldn't be too hard, but it wouldn't be too hard for you guys just to use odd number. An odd number width. The length doesn't matter, but it has to be an even an odd number width. I could write it to work with even numbers, though, if you really thought you needed it. So what the turtle will do now is he'll go along and get all these spot, like, spots like here um, in this direction. Um, it goes faster because it doesn't go up and down every time, but it goes slower because it does one row and then goes back along that row. And it'll do the next row and then come back along that same row. Because that will completely get all of the blocks that you need to get. Um, so, and then he'll basically, once he does this one, I'll finish him up because you don't need to see it after this row. But once he does this, he'll finish up and then he'll do the exact same thing but along the, the width of the area um, to make sure he gets all of these blocks. Yeah, that's basically how that works. Actually, I'll show you an area that I have already done um, in the world that I actually made it in. Uh, so here I am in the area that I was using to test test the program. Um, these are all my test areas. Um, there's my ender chest set up down there. Um, but this is the main area that I did last. And as you can see, I set the square and it converted every visible block in that square completely to the emerald blocks. Which I, I don't know, I reckon it looks pretty cool, but you can also, also do the snow cap. Um, yeah, I'll be back hopefully with a finished program to distribute. Hey guys, just a quick update. Uh, so this is what it looks like with just the snow cap here. Um, the turtles just started doing stage 2. You can see this block was dirt before and this block was dirt before. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like with the snow cap. And without being converted totally to emerald, so... Yep, that's that's just a bit of a comparison point for you. And I'll come back, hopefully, once this guy's done everything. Soon, hopefully. Alright, I'll be back. Alright guys, welcome back. I'm just doing some a little bit of final testing here. Um, main thing I've written in... Oh yeah, actually, first I'll show you this. Um, I'm pretty sure I've got a complete program. I've now accounted for gravel detection, which I guess you'll see in a minute. Um, and there's also two versions of the program, one to cap cap the land like this, and one to completely, totally convert the land into the blocks you desire. Um, yeah, and I've added some error detection if you don't use an odd number, or if you um, don't have the emerald block or the ender chest in there, but um, I ran this program for a while, and it worked almost perfectly, so let me, what am I doing, let me fly up and show you, yep, oh that was my fault, um, yeah, totally converted into an emerald mountain, which, I don't know, it looks really cool, uh, it's just snow, that's rained since, yeah, so as you can see, the turtle pretty much did this totally on its own, um, at the time, 
that I was ran, ran this. It took so long though, so you got to be careful when you're doing it. But um, I didn't have the gravel stuff written in, so there was a few spots where it ran into some trouble, but it shouldn't run into trouble anymore. So that's why I'm doing this final test here. Um, what else? Oh yeah, it takes a very, very long time. Especially because, I mean, it's a massive area, so I guess it's allowed to. Um, but make sure you've got your chunk loader set down. Um, if you don't already know about these chunk loaders, use this type, not the world anchors. Um, the, this one's just called a chunk loader, I think. Yeah, chunk loader. It's easier to make, I think, and it has a lot more um, flexibility. As you can see, you, you can actually see the area that you got chunk loaded. I've just done the maximum area here and you can decrease it to a small area if you want. It's just doing this little spot or you can do a massive area. So anyway, it's a bit off topic. Um, you can see this guy's handling the gravel just fine which is, I'm quite proud of that. And he's doing the total conversion here. Um, but yes, I think I'm ready to distribute. Oh, I really hope there are no um, errors when they go to use it, if they use it. Um, let's hide these lasers. Yeah, so the gravel detection's working well, and I'm just gonna pick this guy up because I'm ninety percent sure this should work fine. So he's just doing the last bit of final testing here. Hopefully, it all works out. Um, so a couple of things more to keep in mind. Um, I would advise moving or killing all the mobs in the area. He does have a basic attack function if something gets in his way. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but like if something falls in his head, it won't really work as well. Um, but if he does get stuck for one reason or another, like you've missed an overhang or something, um, see, he can do that, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't particularly trust it to work if, if there are mobs in the way. Um, but if he does get like stuck in a little overhang or something, just mine out the blocks above him and he should be able to continue on and finish his job like you intend. So that's all the testing that I wanted to do. It looks like he totally converted this place fine. I'm going to pick him up. Um, and let's give it to you. Here we go. So if I just put paste bin put to no, coat cap, um, this program will yeah, the ca the cap version of coat will just cap the mountains like, um, like snow. Also, it's a quick note. I did try. I, I was thinking about trying to make it work with covers, so it actually looked like a snow cap. But then I found out that you can't make em emerald covers, and so that kind of sucks. Anyway, paste me put get coat cap. All right. So to get this program on your computer, um, type paste bin get then this code. I think that's an S one eight S. Yeah. S I A N R N. Um, put that code in and then put your program name in and you will download it. Um, and it'll also say paste bin put code total. And this will do the total conversion. Um, so these are the two codes you need 52G and TTFS. Um, just type that into your computer craft total and you should have the programs. And as you know, I showed you how to set them up earlier. End of um, block of emerald there, end of chest there. Um, these relays were overkill, just so you know. I'd, I just I was leaving it overnight, and I didn't want to um, accidentally run out and then ruin the program. Um, yes, but make sure before you start the program, you have enough emerald blocks for your area. Um, of course, total uses a lot more blocks than cap. Um, if you're doing just cap, it shouldn't be too hard to calculate how many you need because it's just doing the top layer it's exactly the area of blocks that you're actually using so if this was if you're doing a 5 by 7 area you'd need 35 emerald blocks for that um, but yeah I think that's all you need to know just a chip if you even put hoppers on top of this chest it should probably work fine just a bunch of hoppers but they're kind of expensive anyway I'll let you decide how you want to do that um, but I thank you for watching. I hope you uh, end up using the program and you enjoy it and it actually works for you. This, if there's anything you want changed, um, I should be able to do that for you if you just let me know. And I'll talk to the, my subscribers next time and I hope you guys enjoy the program.